Okay, are we ready, Mike? Yep. Okay, so are you a long time resident of Johnson City or Broome County or? Uh, I'm not a resident of Johnson City. Okay. I live in Enwall. Okay. But, uh, the business has been here since 1961. Wow. And my father-in-law opened up Hollywood Barber Shop in uh, 1961, and we were one block heading west and across the street. We moved here in 1998. Uh, I've been I've been with the barber shop since 1992, so I have 25 years as a wow. barber. So and you've been, seen a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen a lot of changes. Yeah. Come and go. Which leads me to. What problems, if any, do you see in the neighborhood? By the neighborhood, we mean Main Street and the streets coming into Main Street is the immediate neighborhood. Well, I think what we have here now is a very diverse population on Main Street. So, and we have a lot of people here now from uh, New York City area. So it's like anything else. Uh, it can be good and bad, and uh, I've seen seen it both ways here. Yeah. And, uh, I think uh, with the university coming, it's going to make uh, a lot of changes here because I think uh, a lot of the property owners here are uh, waiting for grants to fix up buildings and I'm sure they're going to put students in here and I'm sure rents will go up and I'm sure uh, some of the people aren't going to be able to afford it and it'll be moving and I think the neighborhood will improve in certain ways and so forth. Is there any particular problems with on the street or side streets that you're aware of? By that I mean any kind of crime or... Well, we've had some crime here. I mean, uh, I think any time you're in a downtown section and you, you need an improvement, uh, whether it's jobs or whether it's school or education, uh, it's, it will improve things. So I'm looking forward to seeing the university come here because I think it's going to be a hundred plus uh, situation. I think it's going to cause uh, extra business to develop from it. Yeah, so I'm going to tell you, ask a little bit about the size of the school when it was going to open. So in the fall, around September, late August of 2018, next year, <coughs> it'll actually open. And on an average day, it'll bring 900 to 1,000 faculty students and staff down to this area and of course Main Street's a block away from the pharmacy school but also the nursing school is going to be there. So every day I think you're going to see more and more traffic. But what we've asked other merchants is some of the positives are obvious and you've, you've mentioned some of them about you know bringing more business. Do you see any negative association with having it here? I, I don't see any big negative problems. I, I see, I have a vision of bodies here, people, uh, traffic, people traffic instead of just car traffic. And that's what's going to create new businesses to come in. So with that many faculty and students, it can nothing but just improve down here. My only one concern is this, with that many students and faculty and with new businesses opening up, are we going to have enough parking? So what I'd love to see in this area would be a parking ramp being built somewhere. And I think that would solve the problem. Good answer. Um, I want to come back to, to problems <clears throat> and ask, now we talked about the neighborhood, but for the whole village or the responsibility of the village, are there problems that you think the village needs to solve? I mean, you can mention one maybe is participating in improving parking or at least accessibility to parking, but are there other things the village? Well, what I'd like to see is probably more staff on the police department. And I think uh, we need someone here that could walk the beat like they used to years ago. And uh, I, I mean, I think all this will happen in time. And I think uh, as we get more businesses, that means more tax dollars, and we'll be able to afford more. And I'm hoping this is what happens. Good. And then, one of the questions we ask merchants, and I, you've given an indication because you've been here a very long time, and that is your attachment to Johnson City. Do you feel a strong or, or no attachment to Johnson City as a place for your business? And what we ask people to do is if you have none, it's one, and the maximum is ten, or any number between one and ten, where would you place yourself in terms of attachment to? Oh, ten, for sure. Ten for I sure. mean, this business, like I said, it's a fa our family business. 
and it started in 1961. And I've I've watched uh, I've watched this business uh, grow, and uh, we're very well known in Johnson City. And um, my clientele is. Uh, I would say the majority is Johnson City, but I do get people from all over. Mm -hmm. And I think with the university here, it's just going to improve. And the last question is, would you change your way of doing business when they come here by advertising or doing other things or just word of mouth? Um, my <coughs> business is basically word of mouth. And, you know, you do a haircut, if you do a good job, people are going to tell you. And, you know, uh, advertising is expensive, but that never hurts. Uh, but I would say most of my business is uh, word of mouth, and I, I would keep the barber shop exactly the way it is. I wouldn't change a thing because I wanted it to be an old-time barber shop the way my father-in-law did it, and to his memory, I would keep this the same. Thank you very much, and I'll be back for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> could, could you possibly discuss? You mentioned some of the changes that you've seen through the years. How? What was the neighborhood like? 30, 40 years ago, you remember? Well, you it was a bustling. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there was no room on the sidewalks uh, to even walk down the street, and they were full of cars, and uh, the, the shops, every one of these buildings were full, and you had the days of industry. industry you had uh, EJs that were here, and uh, they were built, factories were built in the downtowns, and the neighborhoods weren't far away, so they could walk down here, and they didn't even need a car. But then uh, the restaurants were full, the retail stores were full, and uh, as industry went and the malls were built, it kind of killed the downtown. So with the pharmacy school here, the nursing school here, and uh, the research center for pharmacy, it will do nothing but uh, mushroom. It would, uh, you know, snowball. And it's going to create other businesses to come in because you need bodies. And with the bodies, if you were to open up a business down here right now, you would die because you don't have the walk-in traffic. But with the facilities of people and students and faculty, uh, it's just going to draw. Nothing but 100% positive. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Yep.